Good morning. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday is the day governed by Mars. I am the Moon Mama. How are you today? Been a few days. I have been, um, I have been in the valley. <laughs> I've literally been in the valley. The valley of shadow of death. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I was in medicine um, ceremony for the last few days and um, wow, there's a lot going on. So today is governed by Mars. Mars is entering into Scorpio and the world is really shifting. I hope you guys can see it and I hope you guys can feel it. Um, and the moon today is in the first quarter phase. So we're at the time of the moon where it is um, the opportunity for us to begin readying ourselves for the next new moon, which happens um, in Gem in Sagittarius, which is so fantastic um, because Sagittarius is about our inspiration and we're just coming out of this Scorpio energy, which has been really deep because Mercury retrograde has been here. So it's been really deep and excavating. And, you know, Scorpio is the, the detective. So we've had an opportunity to really get to know ourselves, our shadow selves. And how important it is for us to really embrace our shadow, embrace the parts that are um, that we judge or deem unworthy. One of the things that I ch um, struggle with very much inside of my ability to be able to embrace everything and, and understanding that the universe doesn't throw anything away. And there are many layers to that. The universe doesn't throw anything away. There's this understanding in spiritual practice and spiritual communities that God is everything, that God is as much Hitler as God is as much Jesus, right? That there is no separation in that because the universe will embrace everything. And so it is important for us to embrace everything that way for in our, within ourselves, not in the way that man does, you know, like that man would deem Hitler evil and, and Jesus divine and full of love. The universe knows that everything is needed in order to create a new reality. One of the things I like to say is, um, or remind myself is, in order for a car to move forward, it needs, the battery needs a negative charge and a positive charge. That is what progress is. Polarities, we are always living between polarities. We had Obama and now we have Trump. And all of that is a function of momentum, energy that moves us forward, that takes us out of our comfort zone and, and gives us um, energy to move ourselves forward. So we are in that place again um, with, you know, coming out of this Mercury retrograde shadow. And one of the things that I am asking myself is, can I fully embrace the experience of being a, a black woman um, who is a descendant of slaves, whose, you know, my mother was a prostitute, my father was a pimp, um, my grandmother was the product of rape. You know, um, my grandfather watched his father be murdered, you know, in Alabama on a sharecropper's farm. Like all of the brutality of those types of experiences, God does not judge as unworthy. The creator is like, yes, to all of it, right? And so it is very significant and important for us as descendants of slaves or descendants of those who were captive to sort of wake up into the power of what it is to be able to hold the energy of those types of experiences for 400 years. There is such power in those understandings that God does not look away from any experience, that the universe is fully moving through us in every experience that we're having, whether it be one uh, where we consider it complete wealth and abundance and luxury, or whether it be one where we consider it complete, you know, um, poverty and despair and destruction. God values them as much as one, as much as the other. None is more valuable. None is more desirable to the creator of all things because the creator of all things does not live in preferences. <laughs> so that is the work for us to be able to do, you know, as we are coming out of this Mercury retrograde cycle. 
the work is to really let go of our preferences, to live inside of the experience of creation and knowing that in order to create, because we are creators, those of us who have been able to hold the depths of energy of sorrow and despair and destruction, you know, that is the blackness. The blackness is where everything comes from. It is the power of chaos where things begin, right? And so we have all of this power as black Americans, especially, but it is because we can hold such intensity. You know, most, you know, other cultures can't hold the intensity because their energy, that they don't have the, um, the bandwidth energetically to hold the depths of that kind of, of weight, right? And so it is important for us to understand that and embody it in a new way so that we can now begin to create new realities because we see that the old one we're living in is coming undone. And so in order for us to create new realities, we have to be able to hold a new mindset, right? And that new mindset needs to be in alignment with universal principle, which is that everything has polarities, that everything exists within in everything and with it it is within the blackness is where everything is born and so in order to understand that everything is born that you need to be able to hold it you cannot be in resistance to anything you have to be in full acceptance and love and embrace for all of it right and so that, that I'm saying a lot <laughs> I'm saying a lot right now I realize that and what I'm saying is that we have to make peace with our experience we have to make peace with our experience and in making peace with it, it will transform into something that becomes more malleable for us to create new experiences. But where we resist, we will be stuck. And so we are moving through this incredible transformational experience on the planet right now. You know, if you have ever believed that it's something magical is going to happen or transformation, if you grew up Christian where you believed in the rapture or any things like that, all of that stuff is true. <laughs> all of it is true. And it's not going to happen in the way that we've been told where people's physical bodies are going to go away. But consciousness is up leveling right now. Consciousness is asking us to be more than we've known ourselves to be, to open up into a new experience. That consciousness is within you. You might be struggling and having a hard time because you are being asked to be something different. And there is a narrative going around that is about fear right now. And fear is the illusion. There is nothing to fear. Fear. There is nothing to fear. There is nothing to fear. And if you believe that there is something to fear, come and work with me so that you can do your work and get clear and free from your belief that there's something to fear. I encourage every woman who is in the sound of my voice to come and sign up for the moon manifestation, the 13 moons initiation, because what we deeply need is for women to wake up right now women to wake up into the truth of who we are at this time, and especially for black women, descendants of slaves, to open up into the power, the seeds of that energy that is within us because we hold the key to this next experience because we have to own the depths of that power, which is heavy, it's heavy, it's deep, it's intense, it's scary, but it is needed. And the way that we do it is by loving every aspect of ourselves. If your mother was raped and molested and abused, come to an experience inside of yourself where you can make peace with that. If you have been really raped, molested, abused, all of that sort of stuff, all of the things that come out of the experience of slavery, those are aspects of our power. They are not aspects of oppression only. There is something else there and the opportunity for us to get curious about it and own it in a new way will help us elevate ourselves, not just us, but the whole world, <laughs> the whole world. If you don't already see what black people in America bring to the whole world, then open your eyes and get clear because we have a lot more medicine to bring as we transform our minds. Okay, I've said a lot. Um, I'm the moon mama. The moon is void in Leo today until tomorrow morning. And a void moon in Leo is about your creative power. It is about the sun in you. And it is about really giving yourself the permission to shine, the permission to fully embrace yourself as you are 
without turning anything away. Um, the thing about the Leo moon is that it usually has something obstructing it that keeps it from being true to itself. And so the question is, how can you shine even in the face of your of obstructions, even in the face of, you know, something overwhelming you? How can you shine? Peace and blessings.